Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today we are doing this Nurburgring challenge so it's circuit experience it's the whole lap on Nurburgring and I'm using this BMW which is a stock for this track and I decided to share my thoughts about this one because I kind of noticed that not a lot of people can make it around here so just so we can see my approach the way I'm handling the car and just the way I'm approaching this one so I always try to straighten up the wheel with this car so it's very important so once you straighten up the wheel then you can only apply full throttle I mean otherwise the car slides and you're gonna spin same goes with the braking so you can see I'm applying the brakes only when I'm straightened up and then as I start to turn in I kind of let go of the brakes so the car can not produce so much understeer so you can even see in this corner only breaking in the straight line and then letting the cart rotate otherwise you will get too much understeer which kind of okay this was oversteer but i saved it in the end so i always want to straighten up the wheel even if you go onto the grass you gotta save it like that so a little bit of breaking and then straighten it up as much as you can so here fifth gear up shifting into six so trying to maximize really really maximize the limits of the track there and you know sometimes it's a bit too much but i'm always trying to keep it on the limit and sometimes yeah it goes it really doesn't go to plan but here sixth gear breaking at the end of the curb right there and as usual breaking the straight line and then as i said before exit in third gear and i barely and i really barely saved it there so it was so tight it was like I, I couldn't believe that I saved it there. Usually it spins. I mean, even it, uh, I think it was third gear, but it's like it might have to be. I would say might have to be like in fourth gear, but third gear and maybe fourth if you're struggling on the way out here. First, second, because in first you'll just spin, and you know it's almost impossible to keep it on the track in first there. So you can see my approach. I hope I'm giving you kind of a heads up of what I'm doing so even in here in this section I will try to put a little bit of braking not that much because if you just jump onto the brakes the car will just understeer in that corner so like it did here so I turned the wheel a little bit too early and the car couldn't handle the pressure and just you know decided to understeer I mean if the car really didn't decide to I decided to do that but I mean the car wasn't really capable of holding on to that pressure and really getting that grip same goes with here so I just decided to put the brakes a little bit too hard and I couldn't you know the tires just couldn't do that so it's kind of a similar approach right there but I'm trying to let go off the brakes until I really really get the grip so always maximizing whatever I can on the track and always maximizing the potential grip there is so kind of matching up your throttle and also your wheel movement so the only time you can actually go and start accelerating is that when you straighten up the car and then go same goes with braking so you can only produce i would say 50 percent off the brakes when you're 50 percent turning the wheel if you're fully turning the wheel no braking at all can be applied otherwise the car will understeer and that's for sure so it will understeer and <laughs> this was a save another save and i think i've done it like a couple of times here i mean this was my third or even fourth run on the track and I just tried to improve my time. I tried to give you a heads up so you can actually see this lap, so you can actually see, you know, my point of view, my my thoughts on this track, and so you can actually see kind of where you can actually get the time. So it was 6:30. It was 6:30.7. It was so 6:30.7 was my optimum time, but I got the 6:30.9, and I slowly but surely I was keeping it up nice and tidy in a couple of sections here and you can actually see like second gear first gear and then up shifting in the third and then only then you can put the throttle down because otherwise in second the car really slides so this car has a lot of torque really really a lot of torque so downshifting in the first here it's not necessary you can stay in second and maybe even in third on the way out I'm um, always very very bad with the carousel so whatever you do there you're probably going to be quicker than me because that's my worst section of the track i'm probably losing like half a second there but you can see this section not a lot of braking going in maybe up to 15 20 percent in here 50 here just a quick tap on the brakes to about 50 and fourth gear on the way out and straighten up the car as much as you can so this is the only way you can do this without sliding and also carrying the speed same goes with here fourth gear fifth gear you know I'm doing fifth gear I mean you can stay in fourth but I was very uncertain if the car is gonna be able to handle that all of that stress on the on the rear tires but I mean I try to keep it up and you know fourth gear and fifth gear they're really really helped same thing goes with here so third gear second and then up shifting back in third 
because otherwise the car will slide. So I'm talking about sliding that much, but it's very important that you just keep the car on the track and don't go over the limits. So it's not really about pushing that much. So it's actually keeping the straight lines, you know, keeping the car in the straight line as much as possible and keeping that speed. And you can see I'm not turning when I'm braking that much. So, okay, this was a moment. This was a moment for me. I barely kept it on the track and you should really avoid the curbs in here so you can stay close to the curbs but not actually touch them so the other two the last two you can actually touch them but you will probably lose control if you touch the curbs so early on I mean even in here just try to avoid the curbs you can use a little bit of I would say you can use the curbs a little bit but as soon as I did there I mean I got too much oversteer and I just almost almost lost it and here very very important so just try to keep the car straight brake easy and then go in the fourth gear on the way out otherwise it's gonna be a complete mess give it a go I mean give it a shot see what you can do here and I think it, it's very possible you can beat those 99% of the players out there because it's not so difficult once you get to know the lines so the lines are the ones that are matter so otherwise this car is pretty tough to use uh, it really slides in second gear third you want to use higher gears as usual but once you get the lines you got everything under control so don't try to push it use the correct lines and then you just start moving on to that so you there this is your basis so you build the base with knowing the lines and then after a couple of tries you can actually start pushing a little bit more so take it easy in your first couple of tries take it easy in those really really tight sections use higher gears and then you will you will be able to get this one at gold so i don't think it's going to be that hard i have an almost an eight it's actually an eight second gap to the gold so i think it's very possible for you to get the gold and you know all of the goals completed we got it and six million credits and only one lap so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video so if you did please make sure that you hit that like button i do appreciate it it really helps me grow the channel and you know i really appreciate all of the support you have given me so guys once again thank you very much for watching this and i'll catch you guys next time bye